Hi everyone, welcome back. With the rare bee-eater birds in the news this week, I decided to go and look for them myself and see what all the fuss is about. Well, these are like no other birds I've ever seen before. They're rather special and you know how special they are when they're making all the local newspapers and news channels on TV. Here's the camera crew from the BBC and Mike Liggins was spotted here. When in fact, we parked right beside him. Unfortunately, you won't be getting BBC quality footage from me today as there's a heat haze and there's still the heat wave going on here presently. So all of us people with cameras were struggling with the heat haze. So now this bee eater has got a very tasty dragonfly. He's struggling to kill it, <laughs> as you can see. But eventually he succeeds and does manage to swallow it. Certainly putting up a, a fight for him though. The birds have decided to nest in a former sand quarry near Croma in North Norfolk. It's the same site that they chose last year to nest in. The RSPB are doing a fantastic job monitoring the site along with volunteers from the local bird club. I believe the site is actually being monitored 24 hours a day, which is totally understandable, given how rare they are. But imagine trying to sort out the rota for the 24 hours a day up until the end of the summer. I'm glad I haven't got that job. The birds like to live in a colony, and incredibly, they get help from other birds within the colony to look after the young. As their name suggests, they like to eat bees, wasps and even hornets. Apparently, before eating them, they first remove the venom sac to stop them getting stung. Entry to go and see the birds is £5 per person, even if you're an RSPB member or not. Go and find them and look for yourselves. They're very rare to be here in England and definitely worth the effort of finding them. You know there's something special when they make it to the local news. It's extremely difficult to actually spot them at their nesting site but you can just make out them flying around and they do go to where they're nesting. A 
apologies once again for the poor filming, but it really was the best I could do on the day. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the bee eaters. I know I did. It was spectacular. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.